So today we're going to be taking a look and seeing how much we made in our dividend income in total for this last month. And it was a pretty good month, especially because we got paid out from our retirement account as well. So this is our focus right now when it comes to our investment. It's going to be in our dividend dentist portfolio here. Uh, this is where we're trying to grow for the long term. So we're going to break kind of a little bit of it down and seeing how it's performing over the last little while, especially because the markets have been all over the place. But just because I don't want it to log out of my account here um, uh, while we're doing this video, I want to just kind of go over our retirement account uh, dividends that we've earned from our Vanguard account. So this is in our Vanguard. We have uh, I have a traditional uh, IRA. My wife has a traditional and then she also has a Roth as well, too. So we can see here uh, some of these are just the reinvestment sides of things. So um, in her Roth, we earned a fifty two dollars, fifty two dollars and thirty eight cents. And then in her traditional, we earned twenty two dollars and ninety cents. And then in my traditional, uh, which I've had since I was like twenty one, I believe it was uh we have $219.30. Now, as you can see, all of that had gotten reinvested into our portfolio, um, and it's a great time to be reinvesting because obviously the market has been devastated. So it's really a good time to be earning those nice dividends and then actually just having them put right back into our portfolio. So um, I do have that all added up in my uh, spreadsheet here as well too, so you guys are gonna be able to see that, but uh, I do wanna go into uh, M1 Finance and actually check that out here in just a second. Right over here you can see, so for September of 2022, uh, we earned a total of $294.58 uh, between all three of those accounts for our uh, Vanguard account, which is actually the highest that we've ever earned in Vanguard. So usually December of every year is usually the highest for that year. So we still have that month to go and we'll see how we perform in total for that. So you can see here uh, right now for 2022, just in our Vanguard account, we have a total of $852.97. So we're just a little under 9% uh, down from where we were year to date last year. So obviously with the uh, December income, we for sure uh, will blow it out of the water. I think if we actually, like, let's just say we made $300, uh, that'll put us above 20, almost 24% from the year prior. So that's kind of ideal uh, for us to be able to have that nice growth. You can see here, it's about 20% every single year um, that we're growing this dividend, which is really, really nice, to be honest. Uh, Pretty excited to see that continue to grow. Uh, you can see here for our Vanguard, uh, we're earning about 13 cents an hour. It's kind of cut off here uh, a little bit. I don't know if I can slide it. Yeah, we can see right there. So our average month, uh, obviously if we're, we're only getting paid once a quarter, but if we divided it uh, on average for each month, so far we're earning $94.77. And in total, we've earned $3,212.84 just from Vanguard. Now we're gonna look at M1 Finance and then we're also gonna look at all of it in total as well too. So we can kind of see how that is all doing uh, for everything. So with our M1 Finance, you can see where our current value is at 78000 285 this this number has been going up and down pretty insane over the last couple of weeks here so you can see if we go to the week uh we're actually up just a tiny bit for the week if we go to the month we're down almost six thousand dollars uh which is about 7.31 percent if we go to the quarter we're down about 775 dollars um, and then if we go to the year we're actually down almost 13 or sorry fifteen thousand dollars which is just crazy to think about uh, but what's great about this is that we are still investing. We're still putting money in, uh, especially when the market is being, you know, really volatile and we're seeing some huge drops. Uh, definitely been tossing in more and more uh, when possible. So in our all time, you can see we're at six thousand four hundred fifty seven dollars, which is about twenty three point seven five percent in the negative. Uh, we've earned a total of uh, 1400 in earned dividends. Now, this is not all of it that's been paid out yet, so it'll look different on my spreadsheet. Uh, some of this is. Uh, technically still waiting to be paid out in total. So let's go back to the quarter because um, we just finished up this last quarter. So things were pretty much red across the board on this portfolio. Things, you know, obviously again are pretty down. So I've just been buying pretty heavily, uh, helping out dollar cost average a lot of my portfolio. Uh, definitely bought some into Home Depot. I've been buying into Ross as well too. So, I mean, I've been really bulking up uh, the amount of shares that I have in a lot of these companies. Uh, definitely, again, lowering my average share price as well, too, which is really nice. I mean, it's, uh, you know, obviously, if I was buying at a certain point, and I still believe in the company um, and everything is looking great fundamentally. Uh, I'm just buying them at a much better price point than I originally started with. So 
if we go to unrealized gains here, uh, you can see Tesla is still number one here. Uh, definitely way down from what it used to be. Apple is still uh, in the green for me. Um, that's not even including the dividends. Uh, same thing with Costco, Lockheed Martin, and Discover. Those are the only companies that I'm that I'm in the green with. Uh, if I go to unrealized gains on the other end, um, you can see, and I do know that these companies don't pay dividends. So we could see here Square, Meta, and Airbnb uh, take the cake when it comes to lowest performances. But I mean, I even have like Amazon down about 14%. So I'm definitely buying more into those. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how much we earned in dividends. But really quick before I do that, if you haven't already, Webull is giving you 12 free stocks. If you just want to get some free stocks, you can sell them all and then utilize them for something else, uh, which I'm from the account. Or if you end up loving the platform, you can do that as well too. So link will be down below, help support out the channel um, and then get your free stocks as well too. Also too, uh, before I do show the dividends, um, this is also something I love. And I mentioned this uh, last time as well too. So Texas Instrument did increase their dividend by almost 8%. So uh, prior we were getting paid 115, now we're getting paid $1.24. But they weren't the only ones that increased. Microsoft also increased their dividend by 10%, which is fantastic right there. So we were getting paid 62 cents a share, now we're getting paid 68 cents a share. And then last company in my portfolio that I got a pay raise here from is Lockheed Martin. Uh, they only went up about 7.1%. Uh, so they went from $2.80 a share to $3 a share. So those are some decent increases. Obviously, with inflation being as high, as high as it is, these are not as impactful for me when it comes to having more value for my money where, you know, in a normal 3% inflation uh, area, this would be a huge, huge increase. But nonetheless... It's still good to, to see those increases. So let's go ahead and break this down and see what we got paid out for this month. So you can see here, uh, starting on the 1st of September, we got paid out from Visa for $2.17. This is lower because I did sell out of some Visa and took some gains. Uh, we can see here September 8th, we got paid out from two companies, Discover and Microsoft. Uh, we got paid out $13.91 and then also $19.77, which is great. Then we got uh, on the 15th from Home Depot, we got paid out a nice $46.13, which is the biggest payout that I get from any dividend, which is fantastic. And they're gonna just keep growing because uh, I actually bought way more over the last couple of weeks. Plus I believe in the next uh, update, they should be increasing that dividend. And if they do, that should be really nice to see there. And then on the 23rd of September, it is going to be $18.66 from Lockheed Martin. And then on September 30th, we're getting, we got paid out $22.70 from Ross. So let's go back to the spreadsheet here. So uh, for the total month of September, just from M1 Finance, we got paid out a total of $123.34. All of that, of course, did get reinvested back into the portfolio because I do like having that money reinvested. Um, it's very important to me. Uh, you can see over here, so that ends our Q3, which then puts our Q3 actually at uh, $211.53, which is actually lower than last quarter. Again, I did sell some companies uh, like Lockheed Martin and Visa, a little bit of each of those to be able to invest in some of the other companies that were down pretty heavily that didn't pay either as high of a dividend or a dividend at all. Uh, but nonetheless, even with that being said, with the end of Q3, we are actually already ahead of what we were all of 2021. So you can see here, 2021, we ended up with 500 and, oh, let me actually, I'm off screen here. Good thing I looked over. So you can see right over here. So $651 uh, is where we're at for 2022 without Q4 in there yet. And year to date for 2021, we actually ended up at 514. So we're actually up already 26% from where we were last year. So we're gonna see hopefully some really good gains across the board um, in this Q4. So that way we're gonna really hopefully blow this out of the water, maybe even get to that $1,000 uh, earned income from dividends this year, which would be fantastic. That's a pretty big goal. Um, and if we don't hit it, we should be fairly, fairly close. So you can see here in the uh, uh, pay per hour, you can see on M1 Finance, we're getting paid Again, I'm off screen. Uh, scroll down right here. Uh, we're getting paid $10 an hour. Uh, currently, uh, obviously, that's $651 year to date. So our average is $72.41 and total payout. Again, this was not earned dividends yet. This is just actually paid out, paid out. So that's why it's a little different than what M1 Finance has on its platform. 
So again, we still got three more months to go in this year. Even if we just keep up with exactly where we made last year, which we're at this point way above that, um, it's going to be a really nice finish for the year. Uh, so make sure you are subscribed, by the way, if you want to see if we hit over $1,000 uh, this year. Um, so that way you get those updates when those come out. And if we switch to our all tab here, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And you can see here, so for our... Uh, 2022 uh, right here you can see for September we earned $417.92 it's actually a little bit lower uh, from comparisons of the same time last quarter but again we sold off some stuff in M1 finance and that's kind of what did that but uh, in total for 2022, we're currently sitting at $1,504, which is already beaten uh, 2021 with one full quarter to go, which is so fantastic. So that's a, already a 4% increase from last year without including anything else. Uh, we are earning, if I scroll down here, we are earning, oh, I got to keep going, sorry. We are earning 23 cents an hour uh, as of right now which is great. And then if I scroll over here, you can see here our average right now uh, between all of our investments when it comes to the stock market is $167.19 per month. So we're definitely well over $100 average. Uh, you know, excited to see one day when we get to like that $500 marker and then that $1,000 marker. And then in total for dividends, we've earned $4,571. Now, uh, like I mentioned earlier, don't forget to uh, check out Webull if you want to get those uh, 12 free stocks. Uh, help support our channel, but you get some free uh, items as well there. And then uh, if you are not already using M1 Finance and you want to check them out, I'll also have a link for them in the show notes down below. And then I'll toss up another video right over here for you to see on screen so you can keep on watching.